It's hard to say what one thing bothers me more than others these days. I don't know. I suppose there's the smells, or lack thereof. I mean, that was one thing you used to go around town, and there was never any doubt as to who had relieved themselves, or died, or made a cabbage dish. But these days, people have covered themselves in deodorants, or mouthwashes, or, oh, I don't know, potpourri. Potpourri, crush bits of whatever it is. Who has time or the inclination to buy potpourri? That's what I wonder when I'm floating by someone's bathroom. Oh, I'll buy some potpourri. That's a thought that honestly occurred to someone at some point. But I don't really know if it's the smells I miss as much as it is the smiles. I mean, smile, would it kill you to smile? Just make some eye contact. There's that old adage, it takes fewer muscles to smile than it does to frown. But I'm not sure who that's appealing to. Well, I would have smiled, but I'm incredibly lazy. What's that? How many muscles? Oh, well then get this scowl off of me post haste. I've been awash in hypocrisy. My laziness must win out. I don't really think that's something anyone's ever uttered. And this isn't some sort of headache about, oh, the youth today. Don't get me wrong, it's not that the youth of today are any worse than the youth of yesteryear. They're all equally repugnant. But look at people today. I don't mean that as a figure of speech, I mean honestly. Take a second to look at people. Pull your head out of your bleep blop doodad and have a gander. OMG ad infinitum. Granted, back in my day, there wasn't much to do other than look at each other. I suppose you could always poke a drunk or make a bet about who was going to get a disease next. That was always good fun. But my point is that you had to look at people, and I don't think that was an incredibly bad thing. Sort of gave you a sense of, I don't know, community. So look around and smile. I mean, Christ almighty, at least you people have non-rotting teeth to smile with. And women actors? It's crazy. So smile. And I don't mean all psychopath smile, all, oh, I've skinned your cousin and made a hat out of him. That's not what I'm talking about. No one likes that. I remember Ron at the Globe, stagehand. Really, just a freak of a guy. Huge smile, constantly. He never got the curtain right. He had a pet rat. Ron. What a shit.